Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa. Today I'm going to show this 2007 Honda Step Wagon that just came in. It has almost 103,000 kilometers on it, which is about 63,000 miles. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on our website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving in Okinawa soon or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's going to have a look around. I'll show the features inside. First, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. It's going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more. So please bear with me till the end. You'll have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Honda Stepwagon is an eight-passenger vehicle in the 500 series category, so the mid-size category. Road tax per year is going to be 7,500 yen, which is about uh, $55 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we'll take every for you this year. You won't have to worry about it until next. Now, you do have uh, two options to pay for it. First one being US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or you can take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put some down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before we go inside, I was like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is you leave that cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out, and always get yourself a good windshield visor. So let's jump on inside. Like I said, it's just coming in. It might be a little dirty, but it's actually not that bad. Get this baby started. All right. 102,690 on the odometer. Show you a couple of warrant lights. I'm gonna start off with the blue one because it's probably gonna go off real quick. That blue, that light blue one is your new temperature gauge. So that's gonna be light blue when the engine's uh, cool. It'll go away when the engine warms up and it'll be right if it's overheating. Be on the lookout for that. The one to uh, the top left of that, that's your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do get tickets on and off base. Uh, then as you see, it just warmed up, so it's off. Uh, the one below that is your, uh, the circular one is your emergency brake. This is a kick type. So kick it, disengage it, goes away. Kick it again, comes right back on. And then obviously your fuel one. Other than that, it's very simple, straightforward, straight ahead. It is long uh, instrument cluster. Uh, anything pops up on the dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action. But let's go over this real quick. Um, lower this fan. All right, so you do have your air conditioning settings, your uh, mileage and fuel. This is where all the warning lights are going to come on, and then the RPMs and speed over here. Okay? Um, on top of the dash, you have these little compartments. It's going to give you some extra space. Man, that is hot. Okay? And then down here, you have your radio. This one has a rear uh, camera. Then you have your air conditioning controls, your uh, shifter. Oops, let me back that up. Shifter. A couple compartments here for some storage. Another little storage. A cup holder, maybe uh, for some coins or whatnot over there. And your power outlet and more storage. Not exactly sure what those are. My guys will figure it out. And then you got your glove box over here. A little bit of storage and cup holders on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red roof flare hanging out. This is the space I have on my side. I am 511 as everybody loves knowing. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. I'm pretty comfortable right where I am and I'm not gonna forget the uh, armrest here. Okay, uh, this one has an extra uh, compartment up here for storage. They could probably put some uh, uh, tissues there. Then you have your sunglass compartment up here as well. When you put this up all the way, almost all the way and then let it back down, it's gonna be a mirror so you can see your rear uh, passengers a little better. All right, let's open up the door here. Let's turn this off. Now it's gonna it's gonna beep with the uh, keys inside, so uh, I'm just gonna leave these out for now. <clears throat> Let's start off to the left here. Uh, this guy right here is your ETC reader, electronic toll collector. This works like Easy Pass in the states if you're able to get the card for it for the expressway. Um, let me see. This one does have a pole. Let me uh, turn that back on. So when you push the pole and you look out to the left. See the pole come up right there? That's a corner pole, so that's going to help you uh, as you're going around. Maybe a tight turn uh, and you can't see the end of your hood, that, that's going to let you know. And then just an um, economy button there. Now, it does have this little space up here, whatever you want to use that for. Uh, this does have dual power sliding doors, uh, coin box. Please don't forget you got your gas cover release here and your hood release. Then on the door panel, you have your mirror, door lock, and window controls all right there. All right, so let's put these keys back in. Let's head to the second uh row here <coughs> excuse me so what we're gonna do is pull this out on the hondas they 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 uh, you pull it out from the uh left side looks like it has an aftermarket uh monitor there all right now let me get this out of the way it's gonna come back so you are able to slide this forward 
All right, that's all the way forward. If my knees are straight, I'd probably be uh, at least three inches into the back of the seat. So I'm gonna just leave this all the way back so you can see uh, that I'm about good uh, five inches away from the back of the seat to my knees. Uh, each seat back amazingly has uh, pocket storage. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't wanna rip it on each side. And a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. And this is a little extended from the front there. Uh, you just have more space up here for storage. Uh, this one, I'm not sure if it works. It looks like it is the uh, gathers, and that's uh, part of the um, uh, Honda family. But um, let me just, oops, I'm going the wrong way. Just tie that down or tighten it up so it's not wobbling. Okay, and then um, you do have your controls for the rear um, uh, fan, and it's going to give you vents that go all the way back. Okay, you want to make sure that the air is coming to the proper place. Okay, make sure those are open. And then to get to the back seat, oh, it does have an armrest here. <clears throat> okay. Now to get to the back seat, all you're going to do is pull this lever up. This is going to fold down and it's going to flip it all the way up. Okay. One shot. Okay. Very, very simple to get in and out of this uh, van. Okay. Back, back up. Pull the handle. Go back here. You got your rear space. Rear space. Okay, you do have a uh, cup holders back here. Now, these do flip up against the side. Hopefully, you can see that. But these have to. There's two arrows here. These have to meet on both sides, and then you could uh, put them up against the side if you need extra space back here. All right. Go to the front here. We're gonna show the engine compartment. We're gonna wrap this video up. There you go. This is the good old uh, two liter VTEC, good old reliable VTEC. All right, and this engine will be cleaned during the detailing process. And there you go, 2007 Honda Step Wagon, almost 103,000 kilometers on it, which again, about 63,000 miles. Military price goes down to 47. With an additional military discount, we'll get it down to 4,500. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy, but on a lot of discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. But for now, the 4,500 will include a two year JCI, the one year bumper to bumper full warranty. The 2023 road tax and a 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top is going to be the American insurance requirement, whether you're going liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick. Yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles. Then stop by Johnny's Used Cars, let us show what we have, what our program is all about, and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. Just one of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes Best of the Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car uh, in Okinawa Award. All right? Uh, stop by. We'll show you why, like we have many, many others. So don't forget two ways to pay for it. U.S. dollars cash out right. We're taking advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Either way, we're good to go. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.